In this video, I will show you how to create a timer using Lua in Cheat Engine. The main reference for this is from the Lua documentation at this website. And if you scroll down, there are descriptions of the functions as well as some examples. In this example, I'm not going to attach to any particular game but I'm just going to write a standalone example of a Lua script timer first you click on memory view and then over here click on tools and then here auto assemble select template and then select cheat table framework Now I've already got an example but I'm going to rewrite again another one to show you how I do it. So the first thing you do is you tell Cheat Engine that you are using the Lua language. You set up assembly. And then you will clear the console using this function so what this does is to clear the the console so if I were to attach assign this to the cheat table now <coughs> and just put print air, print hello assign it to the current cheat table I will get a console so this is just to clear this console output if you now run this script this is the script you get hello so now we want to start creating our timer so I will delete this hello here on top here I will create a function this is the function uh, which will then uh, do some uh, something probably say hello or just a output number and it will accept one parameter the timer object which we will give it later and inside the timer object here we should add it inside the function we are going to print something the value of counter so you must declare a global variable or maybe a local variable will do call counter and give it the value 0 like that so now when we enable this we want to call this function okay but we are going to call it from the timer so now we create our timer function enable function
the enable function we create a timer using the create timer and then here we will specify the the owner of the function of the timer nil and initial we will say true we want a timer to start and then next thing we do is uh, we will create a timer interval give it 1000 millisecond and then when the timer fires this is the event that will trigger the timer each time every one second we want to assign the callback function this is the callback function so we type here output number and then when we enable the script we will call the enable function then for the disable part we must have another function to disable the timer so we create another function called disable function and inside here we set the timer to disable using the begin function called set enable and set it to false so over here we will call the disable function when you disable the script we must also remember to destroy the timer and assign it to nil this is how Lua deallocates the timer object or destroys it now over here we want to have a way to increment the counter so we will do a, a expression that counter is assigned counter plus one okay so now when the function is when this script is enabled it will call the enable function enable function will create a timer the owner of the timer object is nil and then over here the timer will start so we set, we set true as the second parameter then we set the timer interval to 1000 millisecond and then we specify the function that will be called whenever the timer fires so when the timer fires every one second it will call this callback function output number which will receive the timer object as a reference you will then increase the variable counter by one and print it out so every one second you will just call this function when we dis deactivate the script it will call the disable function the disable function will set the timer to be disabled using the set enable assign false it will then destroy the timer and then set it assign it to new so now we can uh, assign this to the currency table and close it so let me delete the earlier one so this is our script we can give it a name my simple timer simple loa timer okay so this is it simple loa timer all right so now 
we are going to run this activate activate this script and see what happens so this thing pops up and you can see it is printing to the screen because of this uh, function every one second it calls the callback function to print the new value to the output if we want to stop this timer all we need to do is come here and disable it deactivate the script and the timer will stop so this is how you create a simple timer using Lua so if you found this helpful remember to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video